I'm Teresa Madich with Resource Investing News. Here with me today is Ross McElroy, President, COO and Chief Geologist at Fission Uranium. Ross, thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. So Fission just released some big news. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, we just released some, uh, our whole um, 343 on the project. It's a 550 meter step out along our already prospective trend where that hosts the, the triple R deposit. It's a big step out and it's a big zone. So 65 and a half meters of mineralization, over nine meters of, uh, of what we call off scale, which is very high grade uranium mineralization within that zone. So what it looks like to me, it very much looks like the rest of the triple R deposit. It's sort of more of the same in the fact that it's such a big step out away from the deposit and yet on that, on that trend is extremely prospective for us. So we're really, really happy. Any ideas what that means for the size of the PLS deposit now? Well, further drilling is necessary in order to see if somehow it's connected to the main deposit or if it's a separate pod. I mean, it's 550 meters is quite a distance between the two. Um, it's uh, so we we don't know how that all fits together, but it's uh, it is along the same trend. It's the same same structure. The geology looks very much the same. The mineralization is the same. So hopefully. It's part of the deposit, but if nothing else, it's still very close to it, and it represents right now its own drill target. So we're going to continue to put holes into this and just see see what it's all about. But it's basically a, a new discovery, if you want, on the trend a little further uh, to the east. So you know, we couldn't uh, couldn't be happy with it. That's great. Was that something you were expecting? We already had five holes in the area that we knew were anomalous that we had drilled back in the summer of 2013. They all had lower grade mineralization, some good widths to them. Um, you know, the best result was six and a half meters of 0.29% U308. Um, but I guess relatively lower grade compared to the rest of the triple R deposit. But now this hole in that same area is a real game changer for that zone. So it puts it into the elite stat status similar to the rest of the deposit. So we, we expect good high grade results in it. Great. And finally, what does this mean for your exploration program? Is it going to continue as normal? Do you see more in the future? Or Yeah, well, it, it really was, uh, was a step out in the exploration sense. So away from the deposit to see how perspective it is along the same conductive trend, along other conductors. And it really just shows that the PLS project is in its very early stages and it's still giving surprises along the way. So I think it, it, it opens up the exploration potential along this conductor. It just shows, it shows that it's very perspective um, along bigger areas than we could have imagined. So. Thanks for joining me, Ross. Thank you very much. I'm Teresa Madich with Resource Investing News.